Hi guys, RPM Designs here. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a lot of questions on forums or uh, in private messages uh, from friends, whatever. Uh, how to overclock with Ryzen and how all that works. Um, yeah, it's complicated. It depends what you want and it depends where you, what you are comfortable with. And Ryzen Master is not one of them. And I'm going to show you why. I just installed Ryzen Master. It's just installed. I did nothing yet. Uh, I went to profile one. The only thing I actually did was go to PBO, which is a boost overdrive, hit values. Okay, I will set it to, to 50. This one to 150 and this one to 100. Okay, very nice. So now I need to apply because I want to see what, uh, you know, I want to hi have higher. I changed the, um, this is for the current limit, it's show right there. This sustained current limit. And this is for the total socket power, TSP, PPT, whatever. <laughs> Okay, when I hit apply, following, config following configuration requ requested requir requires Ryzen Master to restart Windows, then Ryzen Master will automatically open. Wait for it. Auto overclocking. Do you want to apply now? Uh, no. I set it to Precision Boost Overdrive. Why the fuck does this program want to restart for auto overclocking? It's a bug. But it's not only here, when I put default, auto overclocking. When I actually do auto overclocking, auto overclocking. If I want to have it manually, apply auto overclocking. And I hear you say, then just hit OK. So what's the big deal? Well, the deal is I did it two or three times and it still didn't change. So this program is a pile of garbage. I even uninstalled it with Revo Uninstaller. It's right here, Revo Uninstaller Pro. I have the Pro version. Doesn't work. This program is a pile of garbage. Don't use it. This program can actually, even without you wanted to, I read some from some people that actually, if you apply something, it will automatically get stuck in your bias and you can reset bias but every time when you um, I had it uh, on my Ryzen 2600X CPU actually that the program keeps loading even though when I didn't want it to load every time when I go in Windows it keeps loading the overclock settings which weren't completely 100% stable I did not know this until I just uh, paid attention on hardware info and my PC locks up every now and then and I got reboots that's what this program does. It's not safe. It's a pile of garbage. They should not even release it. It doesn't work. It doesn't even. Excuse me. It doesn't even show me the CC access. It doesn't even show core. It doesn't show me nothing. Here. This is it. This is all I see. <laughs> this is there's nothing here. I don't see a core. I get this crap. I mean, I can go to basic view. Looks nice. It's just a pile of garbage. Don't use it. I'm warning you. This this program is not safe. Yeah, apply. See? Don't use it, guys. Do yourself save yourself a ton of grief. And I know a lot of people don't have this problem, <coughs> but sooner or later, this programs like this are not. I mean, they are not really very 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 um, developed and Ryzen is not even very developed either there are still a lot of issues with Ryzen and especially on x470 motherboards but I, I cannot speak for x570 maybe it's running better on x570 I don't know but x470 is not really um, yeah it, it, it's not really uh, um, yeah I don't like it 
Yeah, so that means that. Um, yeah, it's it, it just it's just want to play with like this, but this program it doesn't work. It's 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 crap. It's garbage. You see it. I mean, you see it for yourself. Here, I'm gonna. I want to re reset. Okay, <coughs> reset the profile. Profile default success. Okay, that's a success. Amazing. And when I hit apply, out of overclock again and again and again and again. Position boost apply. Auto overclocking. Every time, it should just disable these settings. Uh, enable, sorry, it should enable these settings, but it doesn't. <laughs> it just doesn't do it. I mean, here, yeah, it, it, it's crap. It's just fucking stupid crap. Here, doesn't work. Apply and test. I mean, I can apply that, and maybe it's different. Yeah, see? Same thing. Alright guys, well I hope you save yourself a ton of grief and just don't do don't use these programs like this. It's crap. There's a much better program. I'm gonna show you guys now. I'm gonna close this idiot program. And it's called RTC. RTC, Ryzen Tumor from one mus mus or whatever you want to call it this program actually works this program works this is very nice it can find your maximum overclock my maximum high is for 4.975 and 1.45 volts i can run 4850 at 1.425 i can run for one point uh, well, 4.8 and 1.4 volts. That's what it's saying here. This, this this program is, I mean, it's still a hit or a miss. I mean, but out of all the programs, this is much better. I just use this program, CTR 2.1 RC5. I will put a link in the description below. Try this program, it's much better. It doesn't apply anything. It doesn't do any, any weird shit without you wanting to uh, without your consent or you know it, it's just this just works and i never had an issue with it i use it i use it a lot on my uh, cpus and uh, on my uh, x3 uh, which one was it 3600 no 2600 first then 3600 and now i'm on 5600x never had a single issue with it it just works and the settings you see here i can apply but Ryzen Master, it just doesn't work. I don't see a CCX at all. So it, it's just, it's buggy as fuck. And this program works. It's a tuner, there's a profile, you can make profiles. Here are some results. You can uh, make and unsend them uh, about and help. Uh, you can make a, you can even make a screenshot. Uh, donate and upgrade. Uh, minimize, uh, let's minimize it. Uh, you can minimize the train. I, I mean, you know, this, this this program works. It's very simple, actually. It's just... Um, you can hit diagnostic, and it takes a couple of minutes, and then it will diagnose your system. And then you can tune, you can stop, check for stability, boost the test, boost the tester. This is the programs you need. Auto share stats, that's also... Uh, yeah, I can be neat if you want if you wish if you want here are the settings <coughs> you can set advanced and you can do all kinds of stuff here this this program is it's really neat it's out of all the programs this is the one i would use don't use ryzen master i'm gonna uninstall it now and never install it again i'm done with that program it was a new model they say a new uh, they had an update but uh, it's still crap still a pilot pile of garbage it just doesn't work <laughs> so well thanks guys and uh, please i cannot emphasize that don't install ryzen master it's a piece of garbage you thank me later have a good one